Hello and welcome to this quick more 3D tutorial on how to install the Morbis software and how to operate NX MCD with Morbis in virtual reality. The first step is to of course download the Morbis software. It can be done on our website in the support area where you find two versions of the Morbis software. The package without redistributables is recommendable for limited access rights computers. So for computers where you cannot obtain extensive administrator rights. The download option with the redistributables included is recommended for computers that do not have the quality of life updates of Windows installed. The redistributable packages include .NET Core 5.0, .NET Framework 4.8 and VC Redist. Once the download has finished, Simply execute, click next, next and install and wait for the installer to finish. Once the installer has finished, start the more 3D activation tool and click request demo. Choose the Morbis Premium software for your demo requests and fill out your information. I'm using HP Reverb and we are targeting to go for an NX today. Alright, we filled out all the information, so we click the send button. So we get the confirmation that the request was accepted and now we need to wait for Mod3D to unlock the request and to reply to our email address. So we close the request demo license and we check our emails. And there we go, we have a demo key available. We copy it, we paste it and we click activate and the license is active for two weeks. Now with our demo license enabled we can go ahead and start the Morbis launcher. In case your computer is equipped with more than one graphics card or an Nvidia Quadro card, please click yes and follow the instructions on the PDF. As I don't have an Quadro card and just a single GPU, I click no. Next, the application enabler for the Morbis software is started and it will automatically search default installation paths for known applications. As my NX is installed in a custom directory, I need to add it manually. So the first thing is to find out where NX is installed. To do this I'm opening up the properties and I click open path. Here is it. So I copy this path and I click the add button in the enabler. I paste the path and press enter. Then I look for the NX uh, for the ugraph.exe and I click open and it's added to the list and that's NX2000. Lastly I place the check mark here to enable the bridging functions and then I close the enabler. Now the discovery service is starting which is normal for to happen after the first installation. It is a service that runs in the background and is very 
beneficial for cluster setups. For single HMD VR glasses setups, it's usually not required, but it is very efficient for running multiple Morbis clients on, for instance, a cluster. So I will click yes, which triggers a UAC dialog. And here we are. The Morvis main GUI is now being presented. And here we open the settings and set the pixel density to two times for our client, local client. Output device should be Steam VR for an HMD. And to check the connection type, I'll go for faster loading on local only, which is shared memory. I click apply. Then I close the settings, I start the Morvis client, I start NX and also I'm starting Steam VR. And in the next step, I load a model inside of NX. This model now automatically bridges into VR and all changes from NX are mirrored in the VR environment. I can now interact with the model very naturally inside of the VR environment. I can bring up the in-VR menu to, for instance, place some custom markers on here. So in case I want to make sure we take good care of this area there, I can place some, a manual marker on there. Of course, also in a different color for, let's say, a, a second place that we need to look at. So let's say, for instance, here, there we have some very interesting parts and things happening. Also, there is a option to take screenshots or photos which automatically save to your hard disk, to the pictures directory of Windows. We can also place markers for custom annotations like this. And we can add text by just typing on the keyboard. We can place a second marker, for instance, there. And then it's also possible to teleport in between locations. Well, for a small model like this, it maybe is not so important, but well, you can also do it for big models, which is very handy when jumping through whole factories. And the last great thing is, of course, that Morbis seamlessly transfers animation and simulation from NX Mechatronics Designer one by one into virtual reality, also including all the mistakes that are happening in your model. For instance, this one here lost its lid when being loaded on here, which should not happen. All right, this one made it. Another pretty handy function of the Marvis software is measurements. Click at once with the main trigger to enable measurement mode. Point at the point one where you want to start the measurement. You will see a small marker popping up there. And then point at the second place for the measurement. And in the last line of the menu we get the result. So this is now 50.95 centimeters. And of course, you can go ahead inside of an X and operate it like you are used to. You can change the rendering style 
which will seamlessly transfer into VR. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped. In case you need any support, feel free to let us know at support at more3d.com. See you next time.